uh, person standing at the bank of a river observes that the angle of elevation of the top of a tree on the opposite bank of the river is 60 degrees. When he retires 40 meters away from the bank, the angle of elevation becomes 30 degrees. There's a tree here, river here. This is 60 degrees. Then he moves further away by 40 meters. This becomes 30 degrees. This distance is 40 meters. This is the river. This is the tree. Let's say this is P T B A. We want to find the breadth of the river. This P T. The height of the tree is H. Then this is 60. B T should be H pi root 3. This should be H root 3. Same panda. That in this 30, 60, 90 degree angle, tan 60 is root 3, tan 30 is 1 by root 3. Opposite 60 degree angle is the larger side, this should be h by root 3. Opposite 30 degree angle is the shorter side, this should be h into root 3. Or quite simply, root 3 h minus h by uh, root 3 is 40. 2 h by root 3 is 40 h is 20 root 3. We don't want to find h, we want to find the breadth of the river which is h by root 3 or we want to find h by root 3 which is 20 root 3 by root 3 which is 20 meters. Lovely question, nice and simple, nothing complicated in this at all. So height is h, this is h by root 3, this is root 3 h. Difference between these two is 40, find h, then find h by root 3. I'm going to stop with that. Trigonometry is a lovely topic. Uh, do take it seriously. But in trigonometry, you will have to pick and choose your battles. There are some questions that are simply not worth solving in an, in an examination context. It takes four, five, six, seven minutes to just wrap our head around it and get going. So pick and choose your battles. The, the trigonometric equations part is more or less the pattern we are seeing is it comes back to sine square x plus cos square x is equal to one. Comes to that and then builds from there. Wherever you can contrive that, use that sine square x plus cos square equal x equal to 1 that's going to be as kind of like a lodestone in this something that you keep coming back to so look out for creating scenarios where you can plug that in